Hi everyone. Okay, so I am going to talk some more about some of the experience I had uh, when I was growing up. Okay, I grew up as a Catholic. I went to an all Catholic elementary school from first grade all the way to eighth grade. I also went to a Catholic high school. But once I got into high school, I went to a state college. So that was the end of religion for me. So let's talk about sexuality. When I was growing up, when I went to elementary school, I probably when I got into the sixth or seventh grade is when I started looking at girls, like I explained in the last video. Through elementary school, high school, I never thought of guys. Never. Okay? I was accused of being gay once, probably, in eighth grade, and I like, told you that story about my crush. Um, so that was the first time that I, somebody even really thought about, oh, I might be gay. And I didn't, you know, I didn't think anything of it because if I was gay, if I felt like that, I would be attracted to guys, and I wasn't. And I had a guy best friend at that point, so it was like, no, I didn't, I wasn't attracted to him, I'm still not attracted to him. Um, so, I don't know. Um, for me, you know, I was going through like the Sears catalog or the J.C. Penney catalog. I was always looking at the women. I wasn't looking at the men. So I don't know. And to me, it was just there was no attraction there at that point. I don't know why. Um. And this is a question that I always have of myself, because you always have that, um, people ask you, you know, where does gay come from? Is it born? Is it born? Or is it nurture? And for me, I don't know. Was it always there? And I just never noticed it? Or did I get to the point where I accepted it? It and just went for it. I don't know. I don't have an explanation at this point. Okay? Um... Because once I got into college, I started renting out porn from the video store. And I found some bisexual movies, and I was interested. Once I saw a bisexual movie or a gay movie, I was like, oh my god. I, I think I might have seen a transsexual movie at that point. I don't know. I don't know which one came first. I really don't. I can't remember which one came first. I just remember going to a video store looking for a videos and then I then I went into the gay video place and I was interested in it and it was intriguing. And this was maybe when I was twenty? No, actually nineteen maybe. Yeah. Could have been nineteen. So, you know, that was interesting to me, but I think for me at that point, I liked the oral. I didn't like the anal stuff. And that's why I went for mostly bisexual movies and transsexual movies. I went for those. Or, you know, there was some, like, freaky stuff, too. Those are the stuff that I liked. Fetishes, freaky, and I would rent them, and I would watch them, and it was nice. But, 
you know, was that always inside me? And once I saw it, you know, maybe that, maybe that was there all, all, already when I was born. I don't know. You know, through elementary school, high school, didn't have a girlfriend. I went to an all-boys high school, so you would think, you know, I would feel something for the guys, but I didn't. I really didn't. I honestly, I you know, I, I would go to the gym. Um, I would take a shower. Never, you know, thought, oh, I want to look at his cock, or um, I want, I like the smell. I didn't really like the smell. It was like. Okay, I want to get out of here now. <laughs> no, I, I just didn't like it. So, I, I don't know what to really say about that. Okay, so in college, that was when I first started looking at guys. And I remember when I was working at this place, and we had some problems with um, the connections in the back with the internet. And so we called this guy to come and fix them. This guy was a really big guy. Um, he probably was a seven, maybe. Seven feet tall, I would say. He was big. And he was wide. He was like more of a, um, a football player. Okay. And I have to say, I do like football players. I like muscles on a guy. I really do. Okay. Um, now I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that to tell everyone that doesn't have muscles, you have no chance. Because that's not the truth. You know, this was the first guy that I was like, wow, and I, like, couldn't even be in the same room with him or even talk to him. It felt like, basically, when I was talking to my first, um, crush with a girl. That's how it felt. And it was so weird to me, you know, feeling that way with a guy. I was like, what? Now, I do have to point out that uh, when I was younger, elementary school, high school, I never, um, I never got to the point where I thought, like, gays were bad, or, um, I would think of making fun of gays if I knew any. I never thought of that. You know, for me, it was like, I don't care. It's not something for me to, um, so, now this is when I started my male foot fetish webpage. This is around the time when I was in college, probably the third year of college, I started my male foot webpage. And that started, oh, that started my interest in men. Um, um, let's see. But at that point, it was more by curious. Okay. Um, because I thought, you know, I, I talked to some guys at that point, and they said, oh, they're straight. They're straight, but they like guys' feet. And I was like, okay, I can understand that, because this is how I felt. Um, so I met some of these guys, and yeah, they were just into feet. They didn't want anything else. Um, one guy was married, which um, I kind of didn't, you know, now at this point, I don't think I would have done that with him, just because I don't really want to deal with married men, because I don't want to cause any trouble, cause any problems not what I want to do. So that was cool, but um, the other guy who was straight, um, you know, he even went out of his way. He says, 
no, I don't feel anything for guys, and I just like their feet, and I'm like, okay. This made, made all sense to me, so I never thought that maybe I'm bisexual or gay. I never thought I was gay, though, because if I was gay, I wouldn't be attracted to women, okay? And, you know, I am attracted to women. So, you know, I don't know. But for me, it was always that I'm probably bi-curious, but I didn't want to accept it. So I kept on denying it to myself, okay? So I would go out, meet a guy, you know, and this was mostly just foot fetish stuff. And it was cool. You know, I, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed making him basically, you know, really get excited, if you know what I mean, <clears throat> over me, over my feet, or whatever, my leg. So, you know, that was the most interesting to me. And, yeah, I met them in their houses, apartments. Uh, one time I went to a hotel with a guy, you know, and that was a lot of fun. I think that was the first time that we ever did anything um, with other parts than just feet. And that experience really showed me that I could go further than just feet. And then, um, Got a hand job, did a hand job, then he went to oral, and, you know, but still, every time after each experience, he was like, I was in denial, I would just forget about it. I wouldn't talk about it to anybody else, except people, you know, that, that are into my fetish or following me on my website, those are the only people I would talk to. So my best friend at that point, I wouldn't talk to her about anything like that. I would, like, give her, like, little, um, hints about stuff like that. She knew I had a website, um, about my feet, but she didn't know exactly what I showed on there. I never showed it. Okay, so I'm gonna go and I hope everyone's having a wonderful time.